Today's episode of Pilgrim's Garage has been sponsored by Todd Miller at Miller Motorsports. You can see this video now. A buddy of mine said come in and check the uh, tractor because he left something for me. And look at that. Oh, oh I'm so happy. Thank you, Todd. Alright, on today's episode of Pilgrim's Garage, we're going to try and figure out why this thing wouldn't start at work the other day. Alright, so what I'm going to start on here is I'm going to check my crank sensor. My crank sensor is right there. It's a 10 millimeter hold down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that out and check impedance. car is too damn low, I can't even bend down that far. This button down and she should pop out. There we go. Kind of dirty. I just wiped some of it off, so that could be our problem. I don't know. So I check this to check the impedance. So you're going to put your multimeter to the little ohm sign right there. Omega sign right there. This should have about 2,000 ohms, or 2K. So our crank sensor is good. It's showing uh, 1.9 ohms of resistance, which should be correct. So this crank sensor is good. I'm going to put that back in now. All right, the next one I'm going to check is going to be our cam sensor. Cam sensor is that little doodad right there. Now, that's got kind of a little bit funky to get to. It's mounted on a bracket that you can see this top bolt right here. I can pull that bolt off, and then it should come off with the other one. Uh, the whole bracket should come off. But we'll see how well that works. This one here, I should be able to test without pulling it out. Just put one red and one black lead. So red and black lead on either end there to check resistance. Doesn't matter what side. It's a little low on the resistance, but 1.9K. That cam sensor is good now. All right, so we got that. Well, I cleaned, the, I cleaned the crank sensor up, I cleaned the cam sensor up. No, I actually, I just checked them both. Uh, the cam sensor, I, I can't get out of there. But uh, I had pulled the coil out the other day and uh, I just put it back in. I don't know, we'll, we'll find out together. <laughs> something or if it just dried out something's still not right that's going to be a gremlin to chase but it's running so don't know i got parts on amazon they're on their way and ha, i don't need them now Come 
All right, so as you just saw, I had it running. It was running fine. Didn't seem to have any problems with it. I drove it around, uh, just around the house, put it back up here so I could put the tractor back in the, in the shop, and uh, went to drive it on Tuesday of this week. Or was it, yeah, Tuesday of this week. And it didn't start again. So I have a new coil. I'm gonna put a new coil on it. But then what I'm gonna do, if you just saw, I bought some dielectric grease and uh, bought a tester. I'm gonna start checking for power going to each one of these sensors right now. I don't know if it's gonna start or not right now or not. It's a little bit warmer out. And I'm gonna check, we might as well check together. I'm hoping that it doesn't start so that way I can figure out what's going on. again. Nope, not starting. So let's dive into it. Let's replace that coil. Boy, somebody's just picking it up. Oh, thought they were going to drive by. They didn't. So if you look inside those connections, they look pretty good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some dielectric grease into there, make the connection better. God sakes, you need the engineering degree to open the cap up. Yeah, that's way too much. As Derek would say, perfect. That is a relatively new looking coil, but obviously it was either the connection or the coil that was the problem. I don't know. So it started. Let's try it again. That's all it was? Boy, that was an easy fix. Well, hopefully that's it. Sounds good. Well, hopefully that's it. I'm going to drive it tomorrow. Today is Thursday, April 21st. So I'm gonna drive it tomorrow and drive it this next week. I'm not gonna put this video up until I, I know that that's the problem solved. New video might be me towing it home, don't know. But if that's all it was, that's pretty simple. Now I can start tearing into that back, uh, that fuel tank. That's gonna be a problem. Okay, I've been driving this now for the last couple weeks. You know, I've put some miles on it, so I don't see any other problems with this. I'm gonna call that coil the culprit. And I am going to call this video done. 
Thanks so much for watching, and have a good night.